2012 Southern Showcase had a host of talent from 20 different states in attendance. There were over 170 participants and many of the participants from the 2013, 14, and 15 classes should go on and play for college football at a high level. I'd like to start off by talking about some of the top performers in the 2013 class. Wayne O'Neill, a 2013 punter from the state of Georgia, stuck out as probably the most impressive punting prospect at camp. Wayne has a great frame and great athletic body. He's a lefty, consistently hit footballs between 45 and 55 yards in the air. His hang times were consistently measured between 4.5 and 5 seconds from foot to ball hitting the ground. Wayne's a guy whose hands have gotten better over the course of time and his repeatability is getting to the Division I BCS level already as a high school senior. I view Wayne as a true Division I scholarship punter. Right now, I'll offer him, he's still available. Connor Rouleau, a 2013 kicker punter from Georgia, is someone that stood out at camp as well. His kickoffs and field goals were very impressive. Throughout camp, he showed repeatability and consistency. His height off the ground was tremendous, and his kickoffs consistently averaged over four seconds in hang time. Connor was also a decorated punter in high school and should be able to do both at the collegiate level. Right now, his field goals and his kickoffs make him a true Division I scholarship potential athlete. Spencer Smith, a 2013 kicker punter from Georgia as well, showed very well in multiple phases at camp. He finished in the top five as a punter and top five on kickoffs and field goals as well overall at camp. Spencer, someone who has shown progress over time, his repeatability has improved, and he is someone who definitely has the potential to compete at the Division I level. Luke Jackson, a 2013 prospect from the state of Florida, has shown well at multiple events with Coles, and this was no exception. He won the field goal competition. He hit a 60 yard field goal off the ground to beat the host of other contestants. And he also charted nine out of 10 on, on his field goals during the charting phase of camp. Luke is someone who I've seen multiple times step up on both kickoffs and field goals in front of crowds and seems to rise up and improve his performance when the pressure's on the most. Kyle O'Connor, a 2013 kicker from the state of North Carolina had another solid showing. Kyle was our underclassman challenge field goal champion back last January and has shown improvement on his kickoff hang times and distances to go along with his already steady field goal consistency. Jeb Melander, a 2013 punter slash kickoff specialist from the state of Mississippi, had a 48 yard average during his regular season and again showed an ability to drive punts consistently over 50 yards in the drill work phase of camp. Jeb is someone whose consistency has improved and has an extremely explosive leg. He should be able to compete at the Division I level in the near future. David Petroni, a 2013 kicker punter from the state of Georgia, has really improved his punting. I view his punting now well ahead of his kicking as far as a college prospect. David had an outstanding drill work portion and competition portion of camp. His ability to hit hang times between 4.5 and 4.8 seconds consistently and driving the ball past 40 yards and distance on those hang times showed that he had the leg strength now to compete at the Division I level. He's a guy that has gotten stronger and his consistency has improved tremendously in the last four to five months. Trevor Way, a 2013 kicker punter from the state of Maryland, plays for a great regional high school in that area, has done well in pressure situations at his high school, and has now backed it up with great camp results at our events. His punting was outstanding throughout camp, ability to be able to drive the ball. His field goals inside of 50 yards were very consistent, very smooth, and Trevor is someone who, when the pressure's on, seems to perform his best. The 2014 class at camp was very well represented. Gary Wunderlich from the state of Tennessee was the most outstanding 2014 at camp. Gary was a guy who hit over five second hang time in the punting competition phase of camp. He's one of the top, top kickoff guys at camp in the charting session. And Gary's field goals at camp were also very, very impressive. Gary's leg strength and repeatability is well ahead of his years. Gary is someone who I expect to be one of the finalists down at the Underclassmen Challenge in multiple events. One of the surprises at camps was Christian Hagen from the state of Nebraska. Christian is a 2014 kicker who finished second in the field goal competition and sixth in the kickoff charting phase of camp, which is very impressive for a 2014 athlete. Christian is someone who gets great height on the ball and has an extremely explosive leg. Rafael Gaglioni, a 2014 kicker from the state of Tennessee, had an outstanding camp. Rafael's ability to be able to drive field goals off the ground 55 to 60 yards and his kickoffs he charted very, very well. 
Raphael is another athlete who I expect to do very, very well at the Underclassmen Challenge and will be someone to watch for in the upcoming 2014 recruiting period. Tristan Parsons, a 2014 kicker from the state of Florida, had an outstanding performance at camp. He finished 10 for 10 on the field goal charting phase of camp and finished in the top three in punting overall at camp, which is extremely impressive for a young athlete. His field goal range is solid. He continues to need to work on his kickoffs to, to match his field goals and his punting, but he is someone to watch for at the underclassmen challenge as well. Ian Jump, 2014 punter from the state of Tennessee, showed very well in the drill work and the charting phase of camp. Ian, someone who with fundamental and technical improvement could be an outstanding punter for the rise in 2014 class. In the snapping division, Robert Longwell, a 2013 prospect from the state of Virginia, was the best overall performer. Robert's 6'1", 180 pounds, and had a motion that helped him chart very consistently. His velocity was solid, and is a solid college prospect as a snapper for the 2013 class. The 2014 class had three snappers that separated themselves from the pack. Ike Powell from Georgia, Zach Wade from Georgia, and Stephen Gabbard from Florida. Each of these guys have a special gift in snapping and should be guys to be highly sought after. Ike Powell is 6'3", 240 pounds. Ike's consistency and velocity and overall ability make him a surefire D1 scholarship snapper. Zach Wade is a 6 foot, 205 pound snapper from the state of Georgia. Zach is someone who every time we've seen him has improved and he showed it again when he won the snapping competition at the end of camp in front of the whole camp crowd. Zach is someone who handles the stage extremely well and should be a guy at the D1 level competing for multiple scholarships in the spring and summer of 2013. Steven Gabbard from the state of Florida also had an impressive camp. At 6 foot 3, 205 pounds, he has a nice frame upon which he can build on in the years to come. His overall velocity is around the .72 range and his consistency in the charting separated him from the rest of the field. He is another guy we feel very strongly about, should be highly looked after in the 2014 class in the months to come. In closing, the 2012 Southern Showcase was a tremendous event. There's a lot of talent to be seen in every age class and every category. Many of the athletes in attendance will go on and have great collegiate careers. We at Coles are excited to head out to Dallas next week for the Texas Showcase. Check back next week to hear the results from the Texas Showcase.